Where does your RV spend most of its time? We use our motorhome as a people hauler more than just camping. This is such a beautiful park and on during the week there's very few people here so it's almost like we got it all to ourselves. Our six-year-old grandson Jackson was with us and he had a great time riding bikes. We were joined by some friends that had come just at the last minute and we all sat there drinking cokes and water and eating Little Caesars Pizza at the Gateway Park in Clarksville, Indiana. And my daughter-in-law came to pick up her son who lives maybe four blocks away. But this is our journey as we go. And we have a lot of fun using this motorhome for little things like that. Because if it was a pull behind, it would sit in the yard for most of the time. But we are able to stay longer at the Gateway Park or any other place we decide to go because we have a bathroom, we have a kitchen, we have frozen waters, we have a refrigerator, we have a couch to lay down on if we get tired. Just all kinds of benefits of having a drivable RV. second home on wheels. Meet Rudy and Ginger. They're not really a fan of the motorhome, but I think they'll get there. When the pandemic hit COVID-19, we were all told to shelter in place in our homes, and we did, in our motor home and in our sticks and bricks home, so we didn't feel the crunch as bad. And we're closed as far as the playgrounds and the bathrooms and all of that, so if you went to a park for the day, you couldn't stay very long without driving to a gas station for the restroom. We brought games to play all our own, which was our typical campground games, our bocce ball and canasta, dominoes, cornhole, riding bikes, and cooking out. Gateway Park is now the home of Clark Fest, a festival that is held every year, of course, except this year. It's also the home of the Vintage Car Show every year, and again, not this year. Another destination is Falls of the Ohio State Park with sledding in the winter and searching for fossils in the fossil beds in the summer. Dairy Queen trips is always a hit as well. But the biggest one is Big Splash in French Lake, Indiana, where there's water tubing and swimming and all kinds of recreation things for the kids. That is phenomenal. One of the biggest pluses for me is you never have to travel home in wet clothes and you don't have wet car seats. You have warm blankets and snacks for kids that are starving after the pool.
we travel to the tropical ports such as Bahamas, Dominican Republic, or Cozumel, where we sing every year. My brother Terry and my brother-in-law, Howard, are the featured preachers, as well as other ministers on this cruise also. This year we witnessed something we've never seen before. A horse in the water. We don't know who they were. There they are. RVs are absolutely wonderful for family reunions where you don't have to have a hotel room and worry about all the things that go with that. And we always sing at our family reunions, of course, and we sing at the Kentucky State Fair. We take our RV to all kinds of various places, so much more than just letting it sit in the driveway for several times a year. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you'd like to see more from Beyond the Sunset RV Adventures, then click that subscribe button. If you click the little bell beside it, then you will get notification anytime we have a new video coming out.